Are you guys ready? All right, without further ado, Marvelous Designer, take it away. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm, my name is Brandon. Uh, I'm a 3D designer from the Marvelous Designer Los Angeles office. Before we start, here's a Marvelous Designer reel I would like to show. Uh, the work here in this reel is uh, only some of our clients and customers. And I apologize, there's no sound uh, for this reel this time. Don't worry, we'll get it up on the board here in a second. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, go. <laughs> I mean, it got really quiet there, just in awe. <laughs> it's sometimes nice to have a moment of silence and just enjoy the visuals.
Again, this is uh, only some of our clients and customers uh, apologize. This uh, reel is a bit long and there's no audio. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. Let's give it up. Let's give it up. <laughs> Louder. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you for sharing. So uh, in this presentation, uh, I want to, we want to dive into three roles ZBrush played in the creation of Marvelous Designer 12 release animation. Uh, first, import of Marvel Designer crafted garments into ZBrush for detailed creases and fine details. How ZBrush was used to optimize the character modeled within Marvelous Designer, which was transferred to Maya for further development. And how ZBrush enables the creation of unique scene elements that are challenging to create directly inside Marvel Designer for 3D artists. Before we start, here's the quick render for the elephant scene anim uh, jumping cycle animation. Uh, for importing and exporting between ZBrush and Marvel Designer, you can use file formats like OBJ, FBX, or you can use the GoZ plugin. Uh, with our test, we found that the best export setting is to choose wild and thin option. Uh, which will wild the points between pattern pieces based on sewing relationship. Uh, after the mesh has been imported into ZBrush, you can create subdivisions and sculpt on top. And in this example, I have used stamp standard brush with paint brush to reinforce some wrinkles and use uh, tex uh, alpha textures to stamp on some details. This is what most artists do with Marvel Designer garments inside ZBrush. Marvelous Designer adopts traditional uh, cloth pro production method for modeling, which is fast and physically accurate. But if you want more art direction to your wrinkles, especially when your project is stylized, ZBrush provides you with the best sculpting tools for final detailing. Uh, this is uh, similar to what Square Enix showed earlier. Uh, and uh, after the, the uh, sculpt detail is, uh, is done, uh, it is baked into normal map and displaced map inside ZBrush again and applied to the shader for rendering. Uh, and the issue we got a lot in our support decade by our users is that uh, if your garment is single layered, uh, when you import it to ZBrush, as you are seeing here, the back face is transparent and cannot be sculpted. Uh, a good solution is to turn on double under two display properties. And as you can see here, uh, I was, I'm able to sculpt on both sides. Uh, the above workflow is uh, what most ZBrush users already use with Marvel Designer. Now uh, I'm going to go over some versatile use of ZBrush in this project. What you are seeing here is the claw simulation cached in Marvel Designer. The main character here, the elephant, inside it is an armature uh, driving the claw simulation. Uh, before we created the garment, we have modeled the plushie first. This video is a speed build of the elephant uh, inside Marvel Designer done by my colleague Megan. Basically, in the 2D side, you are drafting the patterns uh, in 2D, and in 3D, you can see the patterns showing up in 3D. Uh, we are stitching it together, uh, laying it out, and use pressures uh, and other tools to simulate it. Uh, so. Basically, we designed and built the elephant inside Marvel Designer just like how a tailor would build it in real life to ensure the elephant plushie uh, seams and wrinkles are all physically accurate. Since we have built it with real life patterns, when the clause is simulating with the animation, we, we would get accurate gathering and realistic stretches. For this animation, we do want to focus the most on showing how accurate Marvel Designer simulation is when visualizing the claws in 3D. Uh, after the modeling is completed uh, in Marvel Designer, we will import it him into ZBrush. This is a good opportunity to show you the GoZ plugin. Uh, for the export setting in the GoZ plugin, again, we are going to choose wild and thin options. And after the uh, export setting is set, just click uh, in the main window, click GoZ and run GoZ. And uh, the model is inside uh, ZBrush, fast and easy. Uh, in ZBrush, 
uh, under subtool, we have duplicated the mesh, uh, smoothed out all the wrinkles, and turned on transparent view and made sure, made sure the smooth mesh is pushed inside of the skin. This is just a quick demo video. There is a lot more sculpting that we have done to optimize this character to be used in Maya for the armature rig. And here's the final model modified in ZBrush and was sent to Maya for rigging, uh, retopology rigging and animation. Again, here's the cloth simulation driven by the armature. Uh, the fabric are, uh, we are using here is Cotton Oxford. Uh, the video should be, uh, this video should give you a better idea of uh, the simulation from multiple angles. You can easily see where the seams are and the top stitches around the ear uh, is deforming with the cloth simulation. And this adds more realism to the animation. Uh, we have this demo file outside in our table. Uh, if you would like to check it out, uh, please come by tomorrow. And what we, have, we have here is a plushie uh, we got manufactured based on uh, this pattern, what you are seeing on the 2D window uh, on the screen. Uh, we did our 3D animation first and turned it into a physical item. And finally, uh, simulating unique shaped uh, cloth models that are challenging to create using pattern methodology. Well, this Ngong pillow you are seeing here is totally possible to create directly inside Marvel Designer, but figuring out this kind of pattern uh, can be uh, challenging to artists with, uh, without sewing background. But I'm sure uh, everyone here can sculpt this model inside ZBrush. Uh, we'll export the lowest subdivision level of as OBJ. And the uh, high mesh is again baked into texture map to get the sculpted detail back in rendering. Uh, in Marvel Designer, in the OBJ import, make sure to change the object type to garment. And once it's imported, uh, select the mesh in the property editor, turn on solidify, and increase the strength to 100%. Solidify will maintain the curvature shape while simulating. I've also changed the cloth preset to, uh, to nylon canvas for this, uh, and also increase the pressure to uh, inflate it. In Marvel Designer, we have 77 fabric presets based on real-life fabric. Uh, we have a machine to calculate the physical properties scanned from real-life fabrics. And if you want to uh, customize it, uh, the uh, properties for the uh, cloth properties can also be customized yourself. Uh, you can add the uh, parameters like bending and stretching. And what you are seeing here is that while the simulation is turned on, I can use select tool and drag the payload around to get the exact shape that I wanted for, for this uh, mesh. And here is the uh, final scene set dressed in Maya the pillow uh, blanket, headboard, curtain, the elephant character, the uh, monster plushie on the back, and the clothing are all simulated inside Marvel Designer. This is a progress test render using Redshift, which is another Maxon product that the Marvel Designer team really loves. And again, here's the final render. And finally, I want to thank the Marvel Designer Los Angeles team for working on this project, uh, and thanks Maxon for letting us speak at uh, ZBrush Summit. This concludes my presentation. That's amazing. Thank you. And he is so adorable. If you have not seen this plushie, what are you doing? 
go see this thing. It's awesome. There'll be there's a booth outside. Well, of course, they'll be there tomorrow too. So thank you, Marvel Designer, for not only being your platinum sponsor, but also for this amazing presentation. Thank you so much. One more time. Round of applause. <laughs> So we have about 40 seconds left. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, did you want to take a question? Oh, uh, I guess I can uh, quickly mention uh, we have a table outside and we do have a raffle uh, to get, give out. The, uh, the prize is a free license. So if you are still here tomorrow, uh, come find us and uh, have a chance to win the raffle. <laughs> All right, perfect. So then after that, go to their table, ask questions tomorrow. Be there, it'd be awesome. Thank you so much. One Thank more you. time.